Hey guys, Michael Chrysler here, First Choice Power Washing, Lexington, Kentucky. Um, got a little tip here. Uh, Doug Rucker, I think, has posted something on his his uh, YouTube as well. But in case you're not a subscriber of Doug's uh, and you're just a subscriber of mine, I'm going to show you this. Uh, I've been doing this for years as well. My granddaddy actually taught me this. But uh, let me talk about these can, can containers also. These are are pouring. Uh, pouring I don't know you you pour it into this thing and you can measure it and then, then you pour it out of the other one I don't really know what they're called but if you can find that that's pretty cool I like it a little bit better than the squeeze ones like this where we squeezed it into the uh, uh, the top and only got one ounce this way I can go, go from one to four ounces there but anyhow you know when you've got this big bucket of, of, of your soap for the most part most of us buy you know in bulk like this because you get a better deal but then you want to just carry it on the truck and maybe the smaller containers to save space or whatever because this one is I think 32 ounces or something and I think I can get you know eight house washes out of that so just a couple of these in the truck you don't need to carry this all around with you but I like to put it up on its side there and so you don't have to try to hold it over the top of your uh, container and your stuff you can just roll it over until it starts pouring out and then that's how I fill it up and I don't know if you can notice bring the camera over here a little bit better but you can notice right there, I actually keep that funnel out a little bit. That gives me some air, so the air can come back um, out of the container as this uh, soap's going in. And you roll it back over and keeps you from having to, you know, try to hold that up over the top. Hope that helps. Thanks.